another um video today um video here today and like i said in previous videos that i had a bait wall um a rod rack you know i used to have a real something from my reservoir con took that down i needed the screws that were using it but um yeah i basically just want to show them uh to you today um nothing fancy obviously just quick video i mean my my videos are never fancy to begin with but no music or pictures at the end on this one but i will have um I'll have other videos like that um, up, and like I said, the summer, you know, I'm probably going to buy um, a GoPro or something. We're going to do lots of fishing. I already have some things planned. I have a fishing trip planned already for May. I can tell you guys about that just yet, closer to the date, um, to the date of the actual trip, but that'll definitely be cool. You know, there's perch in that pond, pickerel, bass, you know, just your average Pennsylvania um, pond, but anyway, let's get in here into the video. Let's get into the video here. Sorry. So as you can see right here, I have, you know, a bait wall. It's pretty, it's pretty, um, substantial. Try not, you know, don't mind the mess. It's, it's kind of messy. We got rods back there and stuff, but got hard baits, soft plastics, um, baits that are in tackle boxes and more soft plastics and some hard baits. And you know, I've got my fishing rod boxes over here, over here. And then up there, obviously I have fishing rods and then I have more reels in there, but you know, I don't want to make this a long video, but, you know, I just want to kind of show you what I like to, how I like to keep my bait wall here. I'm trying to keep this steady. So, what I like to do is I like to put three to five baits on each screw. Now, these are just screws into plywood. And, you know, I took hinges off of a random thing and screwed them on there. And I know it's not, I know it's not the most, uh, you know, probably the best choice, but it's what I had and that's what I used. So, I keep at least three if they're just like normal plastics, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, yeah, you, 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 you know, you get it. Um, so obviously I just have, you know, just Sankos, I have some paddles and swim baits, more Sankos, basically just that. Then down here, oh, start up here, I have just ultralight fishing, fishing line, eight pound, you could use that for bass too. Then I have, um, 15 pound floral and, um, 14 pound mono. So that's basically it just for the bottom portion. Uh, as you can see, I just have some Guggen Squad uh, stuff and some more baits. Then kind of the second portion is all my, um, just the, the bait, uh, these are just the baits that are in the boxes, the tackle boxes. I'm gonna have to open this, I'll show you that in a minute. As you can see, I have top water labeled it right there. I have jerk baits, some of the labelings fell off at the time. Just more, uh, more tackle in there. And I have more tackle. Oh, I don't know. You got a bench me box right there. Uh, but this, you might be thinking, oh, what is that? You know, it lifts up. Because as you can see here, I just keep some real grease, some trap magnets. Got some old fishing reel parts. Little tackle. There was more stuff in there at some point, but it's kind of in my uh, tackle bag right now. Because I recently tried to go for some bluegill. It didn't really work out. I caught a couple. But I just kind of keep everything kind of in order and so now to the middle I mean, kind of the middle-ish portion still um as you can see there's only two because these are boxes and these are hard they're not soft like these so that's why i only have those two and you wouldn't really be able to fit anything else on that screw at all either here i have three i have some beans like sausage swimmers more swim baits some mondo worms but as you can see on this one i have one two three or five, like I said, three to five. So I will have more than three on some. So if I had to take a, a guess, there's three on all of those, I know that. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six times nine, uh, six times three, sorry. I have no idea, can't do math, but I don't know. Let's just say 30 something maybe, I don't know. Uh, sorry, and then here I just have some fours. It's honestly mostly threes and fours here, mostly fours if I had to guess, just from a quick glance, but just baits right there. So I'd say maybe 40 baits on here, um, packages of baits. And then up here is my favorite, obviously, because it has our baits and hooks and stuff. So I have hooks right here. I, as you can see, the Christmas lights, I hung Christmas lights up around my room. Oh, rip! Um, uh, hooks right there, but I just have packages of hooks up here. I have some, um, 
kind of trout and sunfish and whatever smaller fish baits i have jigs here and as you can see i have i don't know if the camera can catch that it's a bad angle there's four no no three never mind my bad um there's two on that one and then i have it's kind of my nicer stuff on the bottom on the bottom ledge right here but yeah i have everything on these hooks has at least two some have four some have three but obviously you can't overcrowd them because the hard baits but you know, I got some Stray King um, little crankbaits, rattle traps, more stuff. And then here I have my bullgill and my baby bull shad. Everybody has to have the have to have bleh, can't talk to them, sir. Has to have those. So yeah, I just have some KVD jerk baits and some frogs and stuff. That's basically it. Oh, and yeah, my favorite part. Um, this lifts up. That lifts up there, kind of hard to see. You know, some of the stuff will slide, but that's okay. And under here, the lighting's kind of bad. Find here, I have reels in my fish cabinet. Reels, I just have like, I don't know, I don't have that much reels in here. Um, I have my huge shackle bag where if I, let's say if I went on a fishing trip like I'm going in May, I guess I'll talk to you more about that later. That's where I'd keep all my tackle. It just fits all my tackle boxes. And then I have um, a bait, um, a bait box or a bait, you know, carry or whatever you want to call it with a, a bubble over there to keep them alive longer. But yeah, guys, that's basically it. I mean, as you can see, oh, sorry, I was covering that camera, wasn't I? Nice to film in without my tripod. So please excuse my terrible filming abilities. I just have my fishing backpack, some rods, and I have my rod rack up there. I don't know. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen rods. And I have one, two, three here. And this is one of my main um, fishing combos, but the tip broke off. I don't know if you can see over there. Yeah, but the tip broke off. So I um, need, um, need to go on Amazon and buy a rod and repair quick. But I have about 18 rods. I'll get a count of the fly rod down there. Uh, some other rods over here and back there kind of rods laying around but this is my one of my main combos i have about six uh, i'd say five fishing reels that i use five rods and reels that i use almost always because i always when i go fishing i always have at least two combos with me but i have at least five then i have like maybe three or four combos that i kind of use like you know, I'll pick them up every once in a while and I have combos that I never use that are kind of old. But yeah, I mean, that's basically it, guys. Um, thank you for watching this video. And I know it's kind of bad, bad cam camera, camera, camera angle and all that stuff. But hey, hopefully we'll be getting um better camera gear. I'm just filming off my iPhone right now. But I do have a camera and stuff. And then I got the rod and reel boxes down there. SLX DC and all that, that good stuff. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. And I will see you on the next video. And that will be a 2020 Rod and Roll Arsenal. So that should be coming in the next couple of days. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. See you next time.